What's going on? This is Mitchell Wilderness Games. So today we're going to work on the Donkey Kong. Uh, I picked up a marquee and a marquee bracket. And I'm also going to swap out this American fixture back to the Japanese fixture. Stay tuned. <laughs> Got something up here versus RBI baseball. It was a great game. My uh, my duck on obviously is a versus kit in a uh, blue DK cab. I have a bunch of games. Hogan's Alley, Duck Hunt, and I made obviously made the Duck Hunt like the main board. Goonies, stuff like that. So this cap still needs a lot of work. I still have to install a lock into it. Uh, needs team molding, needs to be painted, needs side art. Um, yeah, there's just, just a lot. Doesn't have a marquee. The wood base at the bottom, the very bottom of the cab, is four pieces of wood. The front piece is missing. Also needs a, a cereal plate, which is brutal, right? Because cereal plate isn't really something that I can really replace happily, <laughs> you know. Um, the cereal plate for this cabinet is the cereal plate for this cabinet and no other. So that's kind of rough. Um, but... I didn't have one, and you know that's that. It was taken off by the previous owner. Robbie didn't take it off, and uh, you know the guy like was putting bondo and everything. I mean, I think he was just he ripped everything off so he could you know bondo it, paint it. That's where he was at. He stripped it all down. I get it. it used to be a versus machine because um, it has the gun mount holes in the front, but. Uh, I don't know, something, he got burnt out on it or something, or who knows, you know. Um, so, Robbie never got that plate, so I never got the plate. So, just earlier today, um, I was talking to a buddy of mine on Facebook, Jamie. Um, he just pulled uh, a bunch of those plates. Um, he got a, a big parts uh, deal, and he, I mean, he got like 50 Nintendo uh, cereal plates, you know, from Punch-Outs and... Mario Brothers and Versus Kits and Donkey Kongs and all sorts of stuff from uh, from an operator friend of his. And so he was kind enough to to sell me one on the cheap. So that should be coming in a few days and I'll put that in. So it's not the right serial tag for this cabinet. But at least it's a serial tag. That's TKG4. It's the right one, you know. Um, okay, cool. So now I'm going to follow the um, the marquee wires down to the bottom. I'm going to unplug it and uh, make sure it's not attached to any harness connectors or anything like that on the side of the wall. You know, like wire binders all the way down. Plug at the bottom. Unplug that. these two screws. Yeah, this is the American item that oh, this is interesting. Sounds like a splice in it, huh? Huh. 
Hmm. Two different wires. I wonder, I wonder if this was a three prong and they like cut it and put on a, a two prong wire so go into the back properly or something. I don't know. I can't imagine that they would have uh, cut a, a Japanese wire and just connected it, spliced it to an American fixture so the plug would be like original, you know? Yeah, so there's 100 volts on it. Wow, dude, that's exactly, that's crazy, that's exactly what they did. So this is an original Japanese fixture, and this cord, in every way, is identical with this cord that's been spliced onto this American fixture. Dude, are you kidding me right now? Every single way, look at this. Look at this. I can't believe somebody did this. It's nuts. Kind of bums me out a little bit that a uh, original, original Japanese fixture. Was defaced. They're identical. Okay, well, uh, the, I don't think the wire is even original to this cabinet because this fixture obviously has its wire. Unless this fixture isn't original either. <sighs> My DK is such a mutt. <laughs> Who knows where this came from? Oh my goodness. Alright, so uh, let's install it, huh? So yeah, I don't know if it needed a, a new starter or not. Starter's right here. I don't know if it needed it. I don't know if this works. I've never seen this working. I just got it as a part. But I picked up the bulb and a starter off of uh, mikesarcade.com. Top one is my original. Lines up. With that top one. Here's the one the person put in after. Alright, inside my cabinet, I keep bags of parts for this cabinet. So I have the extra buttons. Like the original buttons that, like some of them were wrong and whatever. So I, I you know, I just kept everything. Whatever. Old Nintendo parts, stuff like that. that were messed up. Also have this, uh, both dust covers. That's close. I can just prop it where I need it. Yes! <laughs> See that? Awesome. Okay, friend, don't do me wrong. And plug it in. Also connect the wire right here. So here's what I grabbed from Mike's Arcade. I got the top bracket, bulb, starter, um, a repro uh, marquee, because I can't find a vintage one right now. So I picked this one up. Um, it's actually screen printed on. It's not just like a, you know, a sticker or anything. Also picked up, uh, the instruction card set. So that's cool. I'll be doing that at some point. Thankfully, internet 
came out a few years ago, eh? I mean, hearing something moving inside probably means there's a filament broken inside, you know? So, AKA broken, right? Oh, it sucks so bad. Yes! Oh no! Oh no, my monitor is going crazy! What? Wow, that's messed up. Is that from the light, maybe? Could it be? Are you serious, dude? What was, what is that? Like from the interference from the light? Dude, I've never seen my monitor do that before. Huh. <clears throat> I don't know, I, think that, I don't think that even really makes sense. Because, um, it's just an AC outlet back there, and the power supply is plugged in, and so is the, uh, so is the marquee fixture. So, it's not, I don't think the power supply is even giving the power to the, to the, um, the marquee light at all. Maybe I, um, loosened that video cable going to the inverter board I brushed up against it when I was moving the the plug down well if it continues I'll I'll look into that okay as a top marquee bracket I had to buy a replacement because my cabinet didn't have one that's just gonna go like this Just like it does on my other DK cabinet right here. Again, I wish it was vintage, but I'm glad I can buy a reproduction or else I wouldn't have one. This little channel on the sides. Oh man, that completes that. That's nice. Check her out now, boys. The camera's a bit overexposed, obviously. Awesome. Yeah, man. So this cabinet is on its way, man. It's on its way. Now I can look at it and it looks like a DK. Having a big space there is kind of a bummer. Yes. That's awesome. Okay, so there is the DK marquee replacement fixture, bulb, starter, and uh, top bracket. Looks a lot better now. Her parts are showing, so <laughs> as C3PO would say, huh? Um, I'm glad it's done. This is repro as well, this bottom bracket, because this cabinet didn't have anything. I got that from Mike's Arcade as well, and the control panel overlay. <clears throat> um, yeah, I've, I've done a lot of stuff to this cabinet. I basically built it from parts. It just had a monitor and a power supply, and I've just been slowly putting it together. Oh, and a, um, and a bezel. Which is uh, original, was on location, which is cool. It's got some scratches in it. Uh, I'd like a better one, but um, I don't want, I would never replace an original with a repro. So it would have to be an original that's better than this one, you know? 
So, anyways, this is Mitch Wilderness Games. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, this little long video, rather, of a marquee swap um, install, the whole bit. Just wanted to go through it and see if I can get it to work. And I didn't know if that fixture was even functioning or not, so I'm glad it did. Hope you also join me for future projects on this DK. Um, like I said earlier, I have some other things to do. So next Wilderness Games, see you guys in the next one. Later.